Okay, before we go on, um, what's your name? <laughs> before we go on, I was thinking maybe we could have just one simple question. Um, Jehovah listens to our prayers if we do what? Well, we must do what is right according to what it says in his word, the Bible. You're absolutely right. Very good. Let's go on to number five. And it talks about our prayer should come from the heart. The heart? Why the heart? Yes. Well, you know, our figurative heart moves us to act in a certain way. For instance, like we can have desires. We can have good desires or bad desires. We can be affectionate and have fondness for maybe somebody or something. Also, we have emotions. Periodically, we get emotional. And um, so these are things that we can pray for. about that? I, I don't know what to think of to pray. I grew up in a religion where I had to play how many Holy Marys, how many Hail Marys, how many Our Fathers, and that's all I did over and over again. I understand that very much. And you know why? Because it says right here in this book that people have been taught repeat certain prayers word for word but we're going to see what Jehovah thinks and let's go to Matthew the sixth chapter and why don't you read verse seven for me okay it reads when praying do not say the same things over and over again as the people of the nations do for they imagine they will get a hearing for their use of many words Ooh. Yes, yes. And so you see, what does it say here that we shouldn't do? <laughs> I've been doing it wrong. That's, that's what I do. I say it over and over again. Yes. And you know, even when we studied about the Our Father prayer just recently, um, that was a prayer that was not supposed to be repeated over and over and over again. But there were certain specific um, subjects that Jesus mentioned, such as we should pray for the sanctification of his father's name. We should pray for his kingdom to come. We can pray for our daily bread. These were things that we can pray for and that um, we'll get a listening ear. Now, to help us, let's go over to this illustration that's mentioned there on okay. this side. Tell me what you see in that picture. Well, I see a little boy and his parents. It looks like he's trying to explain something and his mother's holding his neck, like saying, it's okay, you can tell your father. Mm -hmm. right? Yes, now do you see the parents um, screaming and hollering at him? No. 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 And you notice this hand, it seems like he's trying to express himself or get the words out. And um, do you think though that this little boy um, memorized what his what his words were and that he was going to say to his parents. Oh no, I don't think he did. No, he didn't because he actually was. You know, he was probably saying, "Well, Dad, Mom, I know you told me not to play ball in the house, and I did it, and I broke something. I'm very sorry. Please forgive me." So that's the way we should be with all of our prayers. And what does it say down underneath that picture there? It says, a good father wants his child to speak to him from the heart. Likewise, Jehovah wants us to pray to him from our heart. Right. Jehovah's our heavenly father. We can pray to him about anything. Pour out your heart to him. And you know something that's wonderful? He even helps us. Because read that last paragraph there, Mimi. It reads, each day, you might think of one specific blessing in your life and then thank Jehovah for that blessing. Do this every day for a week and you will have prayed about seven different topics without repeating yourself. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. He helps us to get to know him better. And I tell you what, I want you to have a go of this. The next time we meet for our Bible discussion, you can let me know how you make out with it, okay? Yeah, well, it'll definitely be seven different things. I'm not going to repeat yeah. myself. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs>